There's only one decision. Well, it's my very great pleasure now to introduce the penultimate speaker this morning. You know that when you are sharing a course with this man, that you're in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing. Please give a very warm welcome to the court and I very much hope future MP for Islington North, Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, John. And first, a big thank you to everyone that's come down here this morning to show their support for Julian Assange on this absolutely crucial day in this horrendous legal battle and nightmare that's now gone on for 10 years where Julian is concerned. The issue is that Julian is a journalist. Julian is a very brave, very focused man who searches for the truth. And he goes in that search wherever the evidence suggests he should. And in that search for truth, he exposed in devastating clarity exactly what the United States was doing in Afghanistan, in Iraq, and many other places around the world, where not just the USA, but other governments and huge corporations were making money, destroying people's lives, illegally selling arms, dealing with corruption by bribing people, and he exposed all of that. He was then threatened with a legal action from the United States under the Espionage Act, and has fought that case ever since. Julian's reward for speaking out, I believe on behalf of all of us who want to live in a world of peace and security and recognize you get peace and security by dealing with injustice, inequality and unaccountable power. You don't get it by bombing people. He has done so much to point that way to a more open and free world. His reward has been 10 years of legal struggle, including now five years in the prison in Belmarsh, a maximum security prison, and he's not convicted of anything. He is a remand prisoner in a maximum security prison. Even that is a bit unusual. So that's Julian's reward. And today, yet another round in this legal battle, which may or may not go later today to Strasbourg, may go to the USA, may go to another court in this country. Julian's reward is the eternal punishment of legal threats against him and his very um, existence, because we all know what would happen if he went to the USA, it would be a life sentence. However, those people that ordered the bombings in Afghanistan, that took us into that war, that ordered the bombing in Abu Ghraib, that ordered the destruction of so much civilian life, and those corporate criminals that destroyed so much of the lives of the poorest people in the poorest parts of the world, their rewards are honours, their rewards are money, their rewards are positions, their rewards are being, their virtues being extolled in the world's media. Well, I know which side I'm on, you know which side you're on, and that is the cause of Julian Assange. And if Julian goes down for this, if he goes down for this, every journalist everywhere around the world will be reluctant to expose a truth they know they have a moral responsibility to expose. 
That will be their response. It will be a suppression of our access to truth, a suppression of our access to knowledge, a suppression of our democratic right to know. So Julian's case has massive implications all around the world. And so I want to pay a huge tribute to all those that have campaigned fearlessly and steadfastly for Julian over these years. Craig, who just spoke now, John, who introduced me, and all others involved in the campaign, particularly Stella and the family, for the way that they have uh, endured the way they've endured and their moral leadership in this huge issue. They deserve our love, our affection, our solidarity and our support. And so the court will convene this morning. I do not know what the result of that's going to be any more than anybody else in this street does today. But I do know that whatever the next event is, we will be there, we will not give up, we will not work away, walk away, we will always be standing alongside Julian Assange. And the final thing I'd say is this, to any journalists around the world who think they can ignore this story, it's all to do with espionage and criminals and crooks and so on, think again. And to our friends in the United States, we need your voice. Those of you occupying the campuses, well done. Those of you that are campaigning for a ceasefire in Gaza, well done. Also, turn your minds in support of somebody that has exposed war crimes and war criminals around the world and show solidarity with Julian Assange as well. Thank you very much.